none. That's okay. We don't bite. Um, who here has worked with a UX designer? Guys, you're awesome. I already love you very much. Um, and if you have worked with a UX designer and you found it difficult, can you raise your hand? It's okay. All right, good. So everyone else, you've had great experiences, but you want to crack it down. This is awesome. How are we doing for sound? Ish, you'll make it work, okay. Let's start. This is just about integrating Agile, sorry, EUX in the Agile development, and this is a case study. So I'm gonna tell you stories. And stories is what user experience is about. So I'm not going to drown you in too many bullet points, but there'll be just enough for you to get what I'm talking about. Here we go. So this is a story in three acts, and I'm using the Shuhari evolution, the learning method of mastery to describe it. The first project I'm going to tell you about is going to tell you the story of how I discovered Agile. The second one is about refining skills, and the third one where I did mastery um, is working with a development team, amongst others. Anybody not familiar with Shuhari? Okay, so Shuhari comes from martial arts. It's a learning process. Shu is the very beginning when you're learning something. You follow the rules, you need the rules. Then as you evolve and you master some moves, some gestures, remember it comes from martial arts, it's very physical, you get to the Ha level where you start feeling the limits of your learning, um, your experience has grown, and then you, out, you, you be, go beyond those limits and you learn to re where you freely play with options. You don't even know the knowledge you have and that's the mastery level. So Shu, when I got started, I was a midweight UX designer working in very traditional creative agency space, which is very, very waterfall. You get passed on stuff, you don't get, get told the story, communications are very broken. If you're quite junior, you don't have access to users or customers, and in general, in creative agencies, you never see the final user of the product, which kind of puts a spin on the user experience part of the title of the job, but it's okay. So I got involved in a project with British telecom operator, well, French telecom operator in the UK, Orange. And Orange had quite a few problems with their work stream and getting work out, and they've been sold the idea of Agile. And they wanted to try and embed an Agile team in their head office, not in their development headquarters in the countryside, um, in Bristol. They wanted in their head office a small team to try to see how this Agile thing works. And I got...